All right, algebra one, um, section four dash two, writing equations in slope intercept form. So we've already been doing that a bit, but we're gonna do it again. Writing equations in slope intercept form. Okay, so this, um, this, uh, much of this lesson is a review from 4-1 actually. So, but um, we're gonna be given the slope and a point. Okay, now, here's your example. I have a slope, I mean I have a point, two, one. And I know the slope. The slope is three. And I want to write my equation in slope intercept form. And slope intercept form, remember, is y equals mx plus b. <clears throat> okay, so there are um, two ways to do this. Uh, well, there are many ways to do this, but we can use um, I'm just going to show you one for right now, and we might look at a different way using point-slope form at another time. But um, for, for now, we're going to do it this way, which is actually the way that I prefer, uh, um, this way. So the first thing we do is we um, label our point, x, y. And then we just plug in all of this information. We know y is 1. We know the slope is 3, and we know the x value is 2, but we don't know what b is, and that's okay, because all I have to do now is um, do a little bit of math over here, and I'll find out what b equals. So 1 equals 3 times 2, which is 6, plus b. Subtract 6 from each side, I get negative 5 equals b. So now, all I have to do is rewrite the equation y equals my slope is 3, x, don't forget the x, minus 5. Boom, I'm done. Let's do another example. I've got a, I've got a point to 5 and a slope um, 3. Oh, a 3 again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label x and y and then I'm going to write down my equation, mx plus b, just to remember where everything goes. Plug in 3 for y. Plug in, oops, not 3 for y. Plug in 5 for y. Plug in 3 for my slope, which is m. And plug in negative 2 for x. And then I don't know what my y-intercept is yet, so I just put plus b out there at the end. Now, 5 equals 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus b. Add 6 to each side to get b to be by itself. And I get 11 equals b. So for this situation, y equals 3x. That's my slope. Um, x is not my slope. That's a point. But 3 is my slope. 3x plus 11. Let's do, let's have you do one. Your point is 4, negative 7, and your slope is negative 1. Let's have you do another one. Um, 4, 1 is your point, and your slope is 2. Okay, go um, do these two, write them in slope intercept form, and let's see how you did. Pause and go. Here we are, y equals mx plus b. So um, 4 is x, negative 7 is y, so negative 7 equals my slope, which is negative 1, times my x value at this point, which is 4, plus b. So now, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, negative 7 equals negative 4 plus b. Add 4 to each side. 
negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. So b equals negative 3. So my equation is y equals negative x or negative 1x minus 3. All right. Um, label 4 is x, 1 is y. Um, y equals my slope times my x value plus b. 2 times 4 is 8. 1 equals 8 plus b. Subtract 8 from both sides and I get negative 7 equals b. So y equals my slope which is 2 times x minus 7 which is my y-intercept. Alright, hopefully you guys got those alright. Now we're going to do um, a few more examples of um, a situation where you are given two points. So you're given two points. Let's do an example together. 3, 1 and 2, 4. So remember, if I want my slope, my slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I, I need to find my slope and I need to find my y-intercept. So, um, but I can find my slope first. I have all the information I need to find my slope. So I'm gonna label first, x1, y1, x2, y2. And so I say y2 is 4 minus y1, which is 1, over x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is 3. 4 minus 2 is, uh, 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So my slope is negative 3, or negative 3 over 1, negative 3. Writing that poorly, negative 3. So now I know what my slope is, so I'll put equals m there. Um, now, if I say y equals negative 3x plus b, I'm almost there, I just need my um, y-intercept. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose one of these points to plug in for x and y, um, just like I did up here in all of these examples. So I plug in, I'm going to use this point, either one, doesn't matter whichever one you want to use, should be fine. But I'm going to use this one because it's got a 1 in it and I like 1 better than 4. So my y is 1, my x is 3, so I'm going to plug those in there. 1 equals 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 plus b. I'm going to add 9 to both sides to get b all by itself. 10 equals b. So now I just rewrite my whole equation. y equals negative 3 is my slope, x plus b, which is 10. Okay, we're going to do two more that you are going to do on your own. You try. Here are your two points, negative 4, negative 2, and negative 5, negative 6. And then here's the other one I'd like you to do on your own, negative 1, 12, and 4, negative 8. All right, so find the slope, plug in a point, get your um, y-intercept, uh, your slope-intercept form. All right, go. Let's see how you did. All right, I'm going to x1, y1, label this x2, y2. Then I'm going to say x, y2 is negative 6 minus y1, which is negative 2, over x2, which is negative 5, minus x1, which is negative 4. Look at all those negatives. Gosh, everything is so negative. All right, so um, negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. Negative or negative is a positive, so I have 4 is my slope. All right, y equals 4x plus b. I still don't know my y-intercept. So um, let's plug in, let's plug in this point. So x is negative 4 and y is negative 2. So negative 2 equals 4 times 
negative 4 is negative 16 plus b. Add 16 to both sides. And I end up with um, b equals positive 14. So my slope, I'm sorry, my um, slope intercept form of my line is y equals 4x plus 14. Let's do this last one. All right, label first, x1, y1, x2, y2. And um, y2 is negative 8 minus y1, which is 11. I mean, sorry, 12. I don't know why I said 11. Um, x2, which is 4, minus x1, which is negative 1. Negative 8 minus 12 is negative 20. Um, negative 4 plus 1, or sorry, not negative 4, 4 minus a negative 1, so 4 plus 1 is 5. So a negative 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. So that's my slope. And so now I say y equals negative 4x plus b. Pick a point. I like this point better over here, actually. So x is 4 and y is negative 8. So negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. Again, negative 16, how weird. Plus b, negative 8 is my y value. I'm going to add 16 to both sides. 8 plus uh, negative 8 and positive 16 is positive 8 equals, this goes away to be 0, so equals b. y equals my slope negative 4 times x plus 8. And that is 4-2, writing equations in slope-intercept form, given a variety of information.